Hi, I'm Ava from Peachy Pod Studios. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make an adorable travel case with a see-through window using solid vinyl and clear vinyl from Big Z Fabric. Let's get started. For this project, you will need your pattern, an 11 inch by 12 inch cut of solid vinyl from Big Z Fabric, an 11 inch by 5 inch cut of 16 gauge clear vinyl from Big Z Fabric, a pair of scissors, pens for marking, a zipper of at least 11 inches, a ruler, pins and thread, and some bobby pins. First I'll start by laying down my solid vinyl, then fitting my pattern over top. I'll use my pen and trace around the window inside the pattern. Then I'll take my fabric scissors and cut cleanly all the way around the line we just drew. I'll grab my piece of clear vinyl and line it up with the top of my solid vinyl, covering the window we just cut out. I'll take my bobby pins and slide them over both layers of vinyl, pinning them together. I'll be using bobby pins in this project as to not poke holes in either type of vinyl. You can use wonder clips, but I find bobby pins to be less bulky. I'll take this to my sewing machine, set to stitch length 3. I'll be very carefully stitching around this edge on our solid vinyl, attaching it to the clear vinyl underneath. I'll backstitch at the end of my seam and trim the threads close to my project. This is what our window looks like finished. Feel free to trim off the excess clear vinyl from the back side as well. Now, we'll place our zipper zip side up on the table, aligning the top edge of our zipper with the top edge of the right side of our vinyl piece. I'll slide bobby pins over this and take it to my sewing machine. I'll sew all the way down the seam, very close to the zipper, back stitching at the start and end of my seam. You're more than welcome to use a zipper foot for this as well. After trimming my threads, this is what the seam looks like. Now I'll be folding the zipper back and away from the vinyl and pinning the seam flat with my bobby pins. I'll take this to my sewing machine and top stitch the vinyl piece flat to the zipper, back stitching at the start and end of my seam. This is what our finished zipper piece looks like. Now I'll fold our vinyl piece in half, right sides together, aligning the edge of our zipper with the short edge of the vinyl. Just like before, I'll slide some bobby pins over both layers and sew close to the zipper. This is what the finished seam looks like. Now, I'll unzip my zipper from the inside, which can be a little tricky, and flip the zipper over to reveal the seam. I'll fold the vinyl back, bobby pin in place, and top stitch just like before. Now we have both sides of our zipper finished. I'll zip the zipper back up and we can begin to work on our side seams. First I'll start by making sure my zipper is at the very top of the project, then bobby pinning both sides of my vinyl together, aligning the edges. I'll take this to my sewing machine and sew close to the edge, going over the zipper and back stitching at the start and end of my seam. Here's what that seam looks like. We'll repeat the same for the other side, but first we have to make sure that the zipper is zipped into the middle of our project. 
This is very important because if we leave it where it was, it would be disconnected from the project after sewing. I'll then pin and sew the side seam exactly like the one before. Now we'll begin working on our hanging loop. From the piece we cut from our vinyl, I'll trim out a rectangle one and a half inches by six inches long. I'll fold the strip in thirds and pin in place. Then I'll take this piece to my sewing machine, sewing fairly closely along the edges of the piece. Once one side is sewn, I'll flip it right over and continue sewing all the way down the other side. I try to go through all three layers with both seams. This is what the piece for our hanging loop looks like. Now we'll begin the process of boxing our corners. I'll start by drawing a line three quarters of an inch away from the seam on one of our sides. I'll extend this line up, then add another line three quarters of an inch from the bottom of our case. This will create a square that is three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch away from the seams and folded edge of our project. I'll mark out these squares over all four corners. Next, I'll take my scissors and cut along the lines on these corners, taking a square piece out of each corner. It can be hard to cut through the zipper, just make sure to take your time and go slow. Now, all four corners are cut out. I'll start by opening up one of our bottom pockets and pinning this pocket open with bobby pins. I'll take this edge to my sewing machine and sew fairly closely to the edge, back stitching at the start and end of my seam. I'll repeat this process with the other bottom corner. Next, we'll tackle the open zipper edge. Again, using bobby pins, we'll pin this pocket flat, making sure the teeth of the zipper on either side are very close to each other. Sew this opening shut just like before. Now with three openings closed, we'll need to work on the hanging loop. I'll fold the piece in half, pin in place with a bobby pin, and insert the desired length of loop into the open pocket of my last zipper corner. I'll add bobby pins to the sides and sew this opening closed, going over the loop piece and back stitching at the start and end of the seam. This is what that corner looks like finished. Now slowly open the zipper from the inside and flip your project inside out, turning out each of the corners. After all your corners are pushed out, your travel case is finished. Just trim off the excess material from the loop and your case is ready to go. This travel case made of solid vinyl from Big Z Fabric and clear vinyl from Big Z Fabric is the perfect size to store items such as pens and pencils, toiletry items like your toothbrush and toothpaste, or even a mini sewing kit to bring on the go. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and your new travel case. Happy crafting!